book. My top rated book on confidence is called The Super You. I'm sending it to you. Physical book, free. Go to the link down there. You got it. Stayallday.com. Decision making is on a thousand because you are tuned into the show where you learn the discipline to show up day after day to do the work, the confidence to put yourself out there boldly and authentically, and the mental toughness to continue showing up, doing the work, putting yourself out there, even when the success you've expected to achieve is yet to be achieved. And on top of this, you'll become a go getter, the person who can go make things happen instead of wait for things to happen because of the personal initiative you develop through this podcast, putting all of this together. Put it all in one package. You get the mindset, the method, the podcast known as Work On Your Game. My name is Dre Baldwin, also known as Dre All Day. Welcome to the show. Today's topic is it is your right. Yes, it is your right. Your God-given or whoever your Holy Spirit-given right to get everything you want in life. Yes, I did say everything. Now, all of us, if you're listening to this podcast, you have goals. Things that you wish to achieve things that you wake up every single day and go to work on you're tuned into a podcast called work on your game because there's a game that you wish to develop or a game you've already developed you're making it better and you're trying to move that game to get you to where you want to go or acquire what it is you want to acquire i'm here to tell you it's your right to have it even if you've been struggling to get it even if someone has told you that you can't have it even if you had your hands on it at one point and it was snatched away from you or it slipped out of your grip or it seems maybe if you are so far away from it right now you've been working so hard to get to it you're so far away from it and you're like man i you can't even you cannot plausibly see how you can get to it in this lifetime right now at the pace that you're going right now and the space that you're in right now with the things that you're doing right now you don't even see how it could possibly work I'm here to tell you that it is your right to have it. It is your right to get everything that you want in life. And I'm going to go right into my points here today and I'm going to explain exactly why I'm saying that. You will fully understand it. And then hopefully by the end of this episode, you will have more conviction, more belief, more confidence in yourself to go get everything that you want in life. Number one point, I'm going to make sure I'm making this one clear right off the top. Notice that I said it is your right to get everything that you want in life. It is your right to get everything. I did not say it is your right to receive everything you want in life. Those two different things. See, the things that you want in life are not going to just fall into your lap just because. See, I'm not here to preach a sense of entitlement. I'm not here to make you believe that things are going to happen to you just because you're thinking about it, just because you wrote it down, just because you listened to a podcast, just because you watched some damn YouTube videos, just because you read a couple of books just because you went to a seminar no things are not going to just happen just because but it is your right to go get them now getting something means there's some effort when i hear the word get i'm thinking there's some effort that i'm going to put in and then i'm going to there's something that i will acquire or receive because of the effort that i put in it's not just going to come to me right so that's what i'm talking about when i say is your right to get everything man it is your right to put the effort forth and take the actions and take the steps and initiate what you had to initiate in order to acquire what you wish to acquire that's what i mean when i say get everything that you want in life so now that we're all on the same page with that let's go to point number two and again today's topic is it is your right to get everything you want in life so what do you do since since you're saying to me dre it is my right to get everything that i want in life what is it that i'm supposed to do let me tell you what you do this is the number one rule number one principle you need to apply to make this work for you this topic here today is you got to get more aggressive and going after what you're after if there's a job that you're going after you got to be more aggressive you're trying to get on a, a certain sports team be more aggressive you want to get more more fans more followers more customers you want to build your brand up and build your business up or start a business or get into a certain industry whatever it is you're trying to do you need to step up your level of aggression in going after what you're going after and trying to acquire what you're trying to acquire you got to be more aggressive now in sports all us athletes out there those of you who are coaches trainers parents former athletes you understand when i talk about being aggressive i mean usually in every sport actually i can't think of a single sport where people don't get given the advice be more aggressive especially in a sport like basketball be aggressive i mean attack the basket make moves set up your teammates play hard defense go after rebounds you know, try to make something happen on the court. Don't just be a foot soldier out there doing nothing. I mean, maybe there are a few sports where being aggressive could kind of work against you at times. I guess in basketball, it can work against you at times. But overall, you'll do better by being aggressive than by being passive, right? You don't want to be the opposite of aggressive. You don't want to be passive almost in anything unless you're doing it as a strategy to try to bait your opponent. So being aggressive works. 
The problem is in our in the regular world, this phrase aggressive it has has these negative connotations, right? When I say the word aggressive to a person who's not playing a sport, they hear aggressive and they're thinking conflict. Are right? you thinking some type of problem with other people? You're thinking some type of maybe an altercation, whether that's a verbal altercation or a physical altercation. Well, look, maybe. <laughs> maybe if you get more aggressive and trying to build your business and get customers you might be stealing customers from somebody else you might be making some money that somebody else thought belonged to them you may be getting some people on your team who someone else thought was going to be on their team and maybe it does lead to conflict maybe it does lead to a verbal maybe hopefully not but maybe a physical altercation maybe it does lead to problems with other people maybe it does yeah, i'm not here to tell you that that can't possibly happen I want you to understand, I want you to know the good and the, the possibly bad. I mean, maybe for some of you, this is good. Some of you might like conflict. Some of you might like altercations. But listen, I'm here to tell you that that could happen. This is a possibility. And you need to understand that if you're afraid of that possibility, if you're afraid of that happening, you're afraid of conflict, if you're afraid of problems with other people, if you're afraid of somebody giving you a dirty look, if you're afraid of somebody not liking you, if you're afraid of somebody leaving a, a negative comment on your Instagram, then look, maybe this isn't for you. Maybe this topic is not for you. Maybe being aggressive is not for you. Maybe getting everything you want in life is not for you. Because I promise you right now, I'll tell you this right now, and if you haven't learned it from experience, you will, or you could just take my word from it if, for it. If you are not willing to get aggressive and going after what you want, you probably will never get it. I don't even think I need to repeat that, but I'm going to because some of you wasn't weren't really listening. You was look, you were looking at something else while I was talking. I'm gonna say that one again because I want to make sure you heard it. If you are not willing to get aggressive and going after what you want in life, you will probably not get it. At least when we're talking about the big goals, the big achievements, the ones that may take a lot of time and a lot of effort or the ones that a lot of people are going after or the ones that are moonshots. Like I talked about a couple months ago from Astro Teller, the things that just just are way beyond the scope of what most people even think is possible. You're going to have to get aggressive and going after those. They are not going to just happen. They're not going to come to fruition through your regular efforts, through your normal quote unquote level of effort. You got to get super aggressive and going after them. And here's the thing, people, the, the challenges or the, the conundrums, the quagmires that you think you may run into as a result of becoming a more aggressive individual, they are way overstated in your mind. Our imaginations tend to run wild when it comes to anything involving possible fear. And people get fearful when I talk about being aggressive because they are afraid of that possible conflict, afraid of that problem with another person, afraid of that altercation that they may have to get into, afraid of the negative energy that they may stir up amongst other people. I want you to understand that you are probably, probably overstating that in your mind, how bad it could be or how mad somebody else is going to get. Usually, you know, let me tell you what usually happens when you get aggressive in life, when, in anything. I'm talking about in sports, in the business world, in the interpersonal relationships world. When you get aggressive, usually what happens is people move the hell out of your way. That's it. That's what happens. When you get aggressive in life, people just move out of the way. People stop trying to stop you. People don't try to give offer their advice anymore. People just step to the side and say, oh, wait a minute. He, he's for real. All right, she, she really means that. I thought she was just playing. I thought maybe she was just going to come out and be passive how she usually, oh, like she's serious. That, you know what? Let me move the hell out the way because I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen next. And right, when you are aggressive, people just get out of the way because most people don't live their life on a day-to-day -day basis with this aggression and going after what they want because this is something that you got to you got to kind of think about it right it has to become a habit this is something that you got to remind yourself of over and over again if you haven't been living your life this way up to this point you're not going to just be aggressive all of your life just because i said it here on this podcast episode this is something you got to remind yourself of over and over again and guess what everybody else is the exact same way therefore when someone does show up with that aggression and they're bringing that aggressive energy to what they're doing other people who are not used to this level of aggression they're gonna move out the way this is this is just human being instinct when something or someone let's say someone any type of living being i'm saying it could be an animal it could be a human being gets aggressive people get out of the way of that aggressive thing no but people are not trying to meet that aggression for the most part most people are not conditioned to be ready to meet aggression just at the snap of a finger usually their first instinct when someone gets aggressive is to take a step backwards
All right, let me back up. Let me get the hell out of the way. Let me analyze and assess what the hell is going on here before I make a decision. Do I want to come head to head with this aggression or do I want to just let it go? 99% of the time, people are going to let that aggression go by because they'd rather not get themselves into the conflict. See, you may be afraid of the conflict happening or the altercation or the problems with other people. Other people are just as afraid as you are. So it's a matter of who's willing to keep going and who's going to move out of the way. And since I'm talking to you about it, it's a conscious thing for you. You can take advantage of this of this, this part of human nature, this element of human nature that people will instinctively back up when someone gets aggressive. You get aggressive, people will move out of your way. Trust me on it. You can go test it out. Don't just take my word for it, but do take my word for it. All right. Don't just take it and say, OK, I understand, but go actually use it. You can see for yourself. And I want you to email me. Dre at DreAllDay.com and tell me about how you got aggressive and how people got the hell out of your way. People will move out of the way when you get aggressive. Let me give you the definition of this word aggressive, though, since we're talking about it so much. Definition of aggressive is pursuing one's aims forcefully. Sometimes you may go too far in pursuing your aims forcefully. That's OK. We're going to talk about that in a moment. Pursuing one's aims forcefully. Now, you're pursuing your aims already, right? But right now, you may be pursuing your aims passively. Like, okay, I want to achieve this thing. I want to do this, but I don't know how to do it. I mean, somebody tells me that they want to start building their, their brand. They want to get their name out there, putting out content, and then they write one 500-word blog post a week. Listen, that's not aggressive. Who's going to remember you between now and seven days from now if all they got from you was 500 words? How many other blog posts are they going to get hit in the head with, hit upside the head with between now and the next time you put another post up? You got to get more aggressive in doing what you're doing, which often means more action. It often means speaking up more. It often means speaking a little bit louder. It often means not just accepting what people hand to you or just accepting what people think you're going to accept based on what you've been accepting up to this point. That's what being aggressive means. Usually it means you got to get a little bit more active. Are you willing to do that? Are you willing to pursue your aims more forcefully than you have been? It means, let me tell you, let me add on to this definition of aggression because that one was out of the dictionary. But this one that I'm going to add on is coming from me. It means, if that means moving people out of your way, if it means moving things out of your way, so be it. I mean, how else do you expect to get what you want? If there's someone or something in the way of you getting what you want in life right now, and today's topic is you're entitled to getting everything you want, how do you expect to get it if you're not willing to move that thing or that person out of your way? You think, do you think that person is just going to, out of the mercy of their hearts, move out of your way just because? Probably not. Now, I mean, look, you can test this theory out. Maybe I'm wrong. Look, I could be wrong. You can test this theory out and let some time go by and see if that person ever moves out of your way. And when you find out that they won't, then you're going to realize, damn, I wasted all this time after Dre said it on the Work On Your Game podcast that I need to move this person out of the way. They still haven't moved. Then you finally take action. Finally. You can do it that way if you want. It's your life. Listen, I'm not here to give you a prescription for your life. I'm just telling you what I know works. You can use it. You can throw it away. It don't matter. <laughs> That's out of the Bronx tale if you didn't know. Get aggressive forcefully moving people out of your way passivity is not part of the program here everybody know what i mean when i say passivity it means being passive kind of letting things pass you by you passing by opportunities knowing it is an opportunity but because you are consciously or unconsciously fearful of what negative emotions and we all have different ways of labeling certain emotions some of us label things negative to others label positive if you have a conscious or unconscious fear of stirring up any type of emotion that makes you uncomfortable you may be getting passive about things and not even realizing that you're being passive about it. but again that's the purpose of a lot of the stuff i talk about in this podcast is is not that just because i said it you're immediately going to believe it and your whole life is going to change and your whole mind is going to change just like that just because you listen to a 20 minute podcast episode it is to bring these principles these ideas to your conscious mind now that you're consciously thinking about them now you can do something about them because if it's unconscious then you're not even aware that it's happening right it's unkind there are unconscious things happening in your mind at every moment right now there are unconscious thoughts running through your mind but if you're not conscious of those thoughts there's nothing you can do about them. but now that i'm bringing it to your consciousness now is your responsibility because you can't say i didn't know you can't say nobody told me. You can't say I didn't hear about it. You can't say, well, I never thought about it that way. You got to think about it that way because I'm, I'm yelling it into your ear every single day here on this podcast. So passivity is not, a, not part of the program of you getting more aggressive and going after what you want. Point number three, today's topic, 
is it is your right to get everything you want in life. Understand that the only limits that exist for you in life are those which you either place on or accept for yourself. Now that sounds very basic, right? It's very common sensey, right? The only limits that you have are the ones that you place on yourself or the ones that you accept for yourself. Of course, you're not gonna let other people tell you what you can't do. Most of us don't do that. Even if somebody does tell us what, I mean, somebody could say whatever they want, but we don't accept it, right? We choose not to accept when someone else tells us what we can't do. Some of us use that as motivation to go and actually do that thing. But also, also unconsciously, like I just talked about, we do this to ourselves all the time. We tell ourselves what we can't do. And we tell ourselves what we can't do, not necessarily by directly saying that to ourselves in our mind, but by our actions. Oh, I'm not going to I'm not going to call that person again because I called them every day for the last three days. They didn't answer. I do need to close this deal, but I'm not going to call them again because they might get mad. Now, what is that? What is that right there? That's fear. They might get mad. So you are avoiding the possible negative emotions you may feel if that person reacts a certain way. But we don't know how they're going to react. They may not answer the phone again. Maybe they changed their phone number. Maybe they've been out of the office and they never got any of your calls. You don't know. Maybe they're just waiting to see how many times you're going to call them to see how serious you are about what it is you're trying to do, the deal that you're trying to close. See, it could be any of those, but you're deciding to label it as, oh, they obviously aren't interested, so I'm going to stop calling, so I'm not going to because they might get mad at me. And if they get mad at you, so what? What's going to happen? What are they going to do? <laughs> so this is what I mean when I say being more aggressive when you put yourself in an aggressive frame of mind ladies and gentlemen you stop thinking about all the bad things that could possibly happen to you and I'll, every one of you who's listening to this right now and if you're watching this on video I'm talking to you too every one of you has been in a situation in life where you put aside all your emotions you put aside all your feelings you put aside all those fears conscious and unconscious and you just got aggressive about a situation for whatever reason maybe it was something that happened in the moment maybe it was something you decided to do maybe you heard something or saw something that inspired you to get aggressive and you got aggressive and in that moment of aggression whether it was a moment whether it was a day a week a year two hours that you got aggressive you weren't worried about how somebody else would react you weren't worried about how someone may respond negatively. You weren't concerned that somebody might be pissed off at you or somebody might say something to you that you didn't like because none of that mattered because you were so focused, so locked in on getting whatever it was you were trying to get out of that situation that you didn't care who you had to move out of your way in order to get it done. And again, this is not, this is not some foreign information to you. You've been there before. You've done it before yourself. So all we're doing now is making it a more conscious thing and hopefully, hopefully, you listen to this episode two, three, 20 times if you need to. Make this part of your normal makeup. Make this a habit of yours. You being more aggressive, I guarantee you will get more that you want, more of the things that you want to get out of life if, if you're willing to get that aggression going. If you're willing to stop telling yourself all the things that you can't do, whether you're doing it actively by saying it to yourself or you're doing it indirectly by not taking the actions that you could take because. You're thinking about what's going to happen or what won't happen despite your actions or because of your actions. All of these are our ways of denying ourselves. We're giving ourselves denials. You can't do this. You can't do that. Shut that conversation off. And if you make yourself more aggressive, that conversation automatically shuts off. So, again, it's all going back to this aggression point. Point number four. Today's topic is it is your right, your human right to get everything that you want to get in life. Number four. Most of what you want in life, they are all there for the taking not all there for the receiving not all there to be handed to you but they're all there for the taking the problem is people don't ask for the things that they want problem is people see things that they do want that they know they want in their lives but for whatever reason they don't reach for them problem is people reach for the things that they want but they take a small amount they take a, a small percentage of what they want and they leave the rest right there on the table why you tell me why why have you done that before in your life? Why have you not asked for what you wanted at times in your life? Why have you seen the thing that you wanted? You saw it. It's right there in front of you. It was available in some way. At least at some percentage of it was available. And you didn't go after it. And you, and Why have you reached for the thing that you wanted? Had it in your possession but didn't take all of it. You just left some of it on the table. Even though that sum that you left on the table was part of what you wanted. Why would you do that? I told the story about how... I told this in the daily game actually it was a credit card bill that i had to pay i was late on the bill i paid it a day late i have completely forgot about it they gave me a 35 dollar 35 dollar late fee for paying the credit card bill late 
and I was like, man, I gotta get that fee reversed. So I've been a, a good customer for a long time, never had any late payments. So I called the credit card company to get this fee reversed. And you know, they had an automated system. So you, they knew my, they matched my phone number to the card. And then they said, well, what are you calling about? And if it's this, 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 so I start pushing the buttons and then they, they got to a point where it asked me, are you calling about a late fee? I, I was I was surprised. I didn't know they had that. They had that as part of the system. You're calling about a late fee. I said, yeah. All right. So I pushed the button. Yes, I'm calling about a late fee. And they said the automated system. This is a system says we have reversed that recent late fee charge. You'll see it reflected in your next statement or next time you log on online. So they were so used to people calling in and getting those late fees reversed that they stopped even using human hours they stopped using human brain power to deal with it and just made it into an automated system for anyone who called in and got to that part of the navigation they would just immediately reverse the 35 dollar late fee here's the thing about it though i found that interesting first of all that they're so used to people calling i think it's a normal thing now they made it into part of the system but here's the interesting part millions of people never call <laughs> millions of people get hit with a late fee and they never call the company and say, hey, can you reverse that late fee? Can you reverse that late charge? In case y'all didn't know, just a little bit of financial information here. It's not my wheelhouse area, but the late fees, overdraft fees, any kind of fees that financial institutions hit you with that are completely gratuitous fees that they just add on just because they want to, those fees can be easily reversed as long as you just call up there and you call up there and push buttons or call up there talk to a person and bitch about it or complain about it i wrote about this also a situation i was dealing with the wall street journal they tried to hit me with a bogus charge and i had to call up there and basically say the same thing to the two people over and over again until they did exactly what i wanted them to do you can get all of these fees reversed as long as you're willing to fight to get it back sometimes it takes more effort than others but you can get them back but anyway all of that goes into the bigger point that people just don't ask for what they want people see what they want but don't go after people get an idea hey i could do this and i could probably get what i want and then they just don't do it or they stop halfway through going after what they're going after when i called the wall street journal i had to talk to three different people in order to get 36 dollars from them <laughs> they hit me with a 36 dollar charge that i did not want that i did not authorize i had to talk to three levels of people before someone and even the third level guy he still was trying to fight back against it but i was not willing to get off that phone until i got what i wanted to get and then i got what i wanted I, each of those levels, that first level person gets about 80% of people to hang up. Second level people handles about another 17%. And the third level handles about two more percent. That's 99. There's only 1% who stays with that long enough to get the money back. And they have it set up that way on purpose. And I guarantee these companies, these banks, credit card companies, Wall Street Journal, they make millions, millions of dollars a year on fees and bogus charges that people just do not fight or aren't willing to be aggressive enough to get their money back from. I'm telling you all that to tell you this. Everything you want is there for the taking. Everything you want is available there to you if you're willing to go after it. If you're willing to take it. You just got to have a heart to grab it. Even though you see it right there in front of you, it doesn't mean you're going to get it. You got to have a heart to take it. Let's recap today's topic, which is, it is your right to get everything you want in life. Number one, notice that I said it is your right to get everything you want, not your right to receive everything you want. It's not going to fall in your lap. Number two, get more aggressive. How do you do this? Get everything you want in life. Get more aggressive in going after what you're after. The problem with aggression is people have all these negative connotations added to it, but the definition of aggressive is pursuing one's aims forcefully. When you do things forcefully, people do not fight you back with force most of the time. Most of the time when you bring force to what you're doing, people get the hell out of your way. Look at your own life. How many times have you gotten out of the way of someone who seemed to be very aggressive going after what they want? You moved out of the way, right? People do the same thing with you. Number three, the only limits that exist for you, the reason why people can't quite turn this over in their minds, getting aggressive, is the only limits that exist are the limits that you have placed in your own mind or you allowed someone else to place in your mind. Someone else saying something to you, no matter what they say, who they are, or how they say it, no matter what facts, hashtag facts, they put behind it to back it up, none of it can be accepted into your mind unless you choose to accept it. You can make the decision of what to keep in your mind and what to throw away, whether it came from you or it came from somebody else. And number four, most of what you want in life is there and available for the taking. Just like I told you with these banks, the credit card companies, the Wall Street journals of the world, they get money from people that doesn't really belong to them, but they get to keep it because people are not willing to get on the phone and have that uncomfortable conversation or cuss somebody out or be aggressive in order to get what they want. And the funny thing is, most of the time, you don't even have to talk to a person. You talk to an automated system and you get your money back just like that. Most people never get their money back because they never make the goddamn call. 
Work on your game. DreAllDay.com.